Variations on how to prepare squid or cuttlefish for sashimi. Squid or cuttlefish is one of the most popular ingredients for sushi and sashimi, and it tastes amazing if you prepare it well. You might think it is not the most exciting ingredient for sushi and sashimi, but in all actuality, it's the ingredient that chefs can do the most with to maximize its great potential. In this lesson, you will learn several variations on how to enhance the unique texture and great taste of the cuttlefish and squid. How to prepare before slicing. This is a frozen cuttlefish. This type of cuttlefish has thicker meat than the common types of cuttlefish. Something to note, both the cuttlefish and squid have transparent membrane under their darker colored outer skin. Now this time, the transparent membrane has been removed before freezing. So if the membrane is still on, simply peel it off before you start slicing. Due to its chewy nature, you will find the meat is most tender when this membrane is removed. Don't worry, exactly how to remove this membrane will be explained in the next video. As you see, some parts of the cuttlefish have changed color. Make sure to trim these edges off, as I'm sure we can agree it does not look pretty. Now, cut the fish into a few sections. How many blocks you cut into depends on how big the fish is. This particular cuttlefish happens to be even wider than some common squids, so it will be cut into three blocks, each with the width of about three fingers wide. To slice the fish for sushi or sashimi, it's important to make a rectangular shaped block. Do you remember the rectangular saku block of salmon and tuna that's used for sushi? Well, the same rule applies here. So make a rectangular shape like this. Now the cuttlefish is ready for sashimi. Cuttlefish and squid meat have two sides. The smooth side is the skin side, and the less smooth side is the inner side. Score the surface. Scoring is a common technique used to cut slits on the surface of food. For sashimi and sushi, this scoring technique is widely used for both decorative and practical reasons. As squid and cuttlefish have rather chewy meat, this scoring technique is used very often, tenderizing the meat and thus making it easier to chew. First, lay the block inner side up. Now, score the surface diagonally like this, cutting slits in the surface two to three millimeters apart. Note, make sure you do not cut all the way through the meat. Keeping the blade at a slight angle ensures you only slit the surface of the meat. The blade angle helps tremendously with this scoring technique. Now, one side is ready. Next, flip it over. Here's another scoring technique. Score the top half of the cuttlefish vertically this time. Long, thin slits. Then, turn the cuttlefish the other way around, 180 degrees, and score the other half of the cuttlefish the same way. By doing this, you are ensuring that the cuttlefish will be that much more tender, therefore adding more character to the surface. Here's how it looks once it's done. Variation 1. Slicing for sashimi. Lay the cuttlefish lengthwise, horizontally, and with the blade slightly angled, proceed to trim the edges off the cuttlefish. Once you have shaved the edges off both sides, it is ready for slicing sashimi. Starting 2.5 to 3 centimeters,